And, and see, that's why the young men don't respect y'all now. Because old men like that right there. It's time for our people to wake up, repent, and keep the commandments of God. Right. We are the Israelites like the Bible speaks of. Right. See, in the 60s, in the 60s, y'all stood for something. But now, 2023, all y'all do is get high, smoke, drink, and all of that. Give me that in Isaiah chapter 52, verse 1. All y'all do is get high, smoke, drink, and lust after women. Read what you got. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 52, and, and verse 1. Read it out. Awake! Awake! Y'all hear that? This is what God asked the black men to do right here. God said, awake, awake. It's time for our people to wake up, repent, and keep the commandments of God. Right. You've been sleeping Babylon the Great too damn long. Right. It's time for y'all to wake up. Read that again. Awake, awake. Put on thy strength. God said, put on that strength. The black men, nine, 2023, they don't got their strength on. Right. We let all nations walk over us. The goddamn East Indians walk over us. The Chinese walk over us. Right. The white man walk over us. Right. It's time for us to wake up, repent, and keep the commandments of God. Right. That's why a lot of the young men don't respect the older men, because a lot of them gave up the fight. In the 60s, we knew who the enemy was. Now people trust the enemy. Let's see what the Bible says about that. Give me that Ecclesiastes Africa, chapter 12, verse 13. Now people trust the enemy. Now you trust the enemy to sit up there and give you better shelter. You trust the enemy the enemy to give you the better job. Your enemy ain't gonna give you no better job than him. Your enemy ain't gonna put you in no damn better living position uh, than him. Read what you got. Never trust thine enemy. You hear that? Never trust your enemy. We trust our enemies now. We think they gonna give us the best education. They ain't gonna give us no goddamn best education. What? Education ain't even a help to our people, man. For real though, they say that they say the black women is some uh, some of the most educated people on the planet Earth. Look at our communities. Why the hell they like, they can't stop the single family households? They sit up there, they go out and get a master's degree, then sit up there and still get pregnant by a nigga on the corner. But they're supposed to be so smart and wise. Read that. Verse 10, never trust thy enemies. We can't trust our enemies to put us in better living positions than them. Right. We can't trust our enemies to give us better pay than them. Right. We can't trust our enemies to uh, uh, educate our kids in their damn school systems. Right. Right. We got to wake up, man. We got to come back to God right here. Read Read on. For like it's iron rusted. Like, like it's iron rusted. The white man still our enemies. Y'all walking around talking about love, love, love. Right. Our people don't know what love is, man. Love is an action word. Right. Love requires action. If I love you, I ain't going to steal from you. Right. If I love you, I ain't gonna kill you. Right. If I love you, I ain't gonna have sex with your wife. Right. If I love you, I ain't gonna sit up there and uh, covet the, the things you got. Right. Our right. people don't even know what love is. Love is an action word, Reed. So is his wickedness. They say, so is his wickedness. Don't trust your enemies. We got enemies. Who is the God described in? Give me that dude number 28, verse 16. God described who the enemies is. He lets you know all throughout the Bible what your enemies done to you. God said your enemy is going to put yoke of iron upon your neck. Who put yokes of iron upon our neck? The so-called white man. Right? That's right. The man said you have to serve your enemies for food, water, and clothes. And in the world of all things, who you go to for food? Who you go to for shelter? Who you go to for water? Who in control of these commodities that we need for everyday life? The goddamn white man, God said he's your enemy. Right. So why come the Christian church teach you something different? Why come the Christian church teaching us to love everybody? Why come the Christian church teaching us the white Christ? Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee and to Egypt again. The word Egypt means bondage, slavery. Moses told us we'll keep the commands of God. He's going to bring you into slavery again. Read. With ships. What people went into slavery with ships? It's written right here in the Bible. You're going to go into slavery with ships. That ain't happen to no other nation of people on the planet Earth. And the white man that calls himself a Jew ain't been into slavery on no goddamn slave ship. Right. Matter of fact, the white man that calls himself a Jew, he don't even fit through them in 28 to 68. Read on. By the way, where have I speak unto thee? Just like Moses said, it's going to happen, it's happened. We went into slavery with ships. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. God told us that we weren't going to go into slavery no more we keep his commandments. But we broke his commandments, guess what? We went into slavery with ships this time. Read on. And there ye shall be sold 
Hard to your enemy. Say, Derek, you should be sold until your enemies, your enemies, your enemies. The same enemies that God told you not to trust. He said you're gonna be sold to your enemies, read. For bond men and bond women. For bond men and bond women. Who was sold to their enemies for slave men and slave women? Who was sold to their enemies? Give me that in uh Jeremiah chapter 22, verse 13. And forced the labor from sun up to sun down with no pay. And then they still give you uh, a, a below minimum wage even to this day. Right. They all up, they got these jobs making $50 an hour, $75 an hour, $100 an hour. You still working for $7.50 an hour around this joint. They still paying you pennies on the dollar working under the table around this joint. Oh, Read what oh. you got. Jeremiah chapter 22, verse 13. You know. Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness. Who built, who built this country up on unrighteousness? Was not America built up under unrighteousness? I don't see it. Rape, violence, murder, bloodshed, slavery. Read on. And this chambers by wrong. And the chambers by this kingdom was built up by wrongdoing. Read on. That user his neighbor's service. Who used our service without what? Without wages. Without who used our service without wages? The so-called white man. That same enemy that you was gonna be sold to. See. They're saying, you know, give that in two in chapter 28, verse 16. The same enemy that God told you not to trust. He said, never trust thy enemies. Right. Like it's iron rusty, so do they wickedness. Because you try to wipe the uh, you try to wipe the rust off the iron, what happened with the rust? It come right back. Right. Then you try to wipe it off again, and what happened? It come right back. Let you know, no matter how much this dude try to hide his wickedness, no matter how, how much he sit up there and say, oh, yeah, we liberals. Oh, God love everybody that's living in peace. Guess what? His wickedness still there. He still hates you. He still hate our uh, brothers. He still hate our sisters. He still hate your kids. Read on. I ain't giving him not for his work. He, gave, he didn't give us nothing for the work that we did when we built up this country. Right. And even when you see, even speak about reparation talk, the reparation talk to this day. For real, though, it ain't a, a, a amount of money they can give us. Right. They're going to have to go into slavery. Right. Our people talking about they want reparations. The only way they can repile us, they got to go into slavery. Right. Right. And every goddamn thing they did to us, we going to do to them. Right. They going to have to give up all the lands that they have seized control of. Right. Right. And they got to give it to us. That's the only way. Because no money ain't going to repile us. Right. Right. You got to think about the psychological damage that was done to our people. Right. Imagine sitting up there working in the uh, slave fields. From sun up to sun down to somebody just come grab your wife and go rape her. And then you don't got no power to do nothing about it. Imagine the psychological trauma our people have been through. Time for our people to wake up, repent, and keep the commandments of God. Right. I hate seeing a lot of old men that sat up there and said, yeah, I marched with Dr. King. I was in South Alabama. I went across the bridge. But then right now, 2023, you just gave up. Right. You give up the drugs. You give up to the liquor. You just gave it all away. Instead of sitting up there saying, you know what, let me stand back up and let me get back in the fight. Right. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role.